One of my subscribers had a really good question about powering a welder with a 12,000 XP. And to be honest, I probably wouldn't do that with my 12,000 XP. And let me explain why. My 12,000 XP is a workhorse. It is just absolutely amazing. I have my Solus as well, and all of these are high frequency inverters. Now, high frequency inverters can do everything except very large inductive loads or welders. Now, you could power those with it. It's just, it puts a very big strain on the inverter. Let me explain why. So on the output phase of a high frequency inverter, it does not have a large transformer in that output stage. Low frequency inverters do. And what that does is whenever that you're powering a welder or a very big inductive load, it has additional surge capacity in it without putting additional strain on the unit. So my 12,000 XP's total can put out 100 amps, but I'm probably not going to use them in parallel to power a 50 amp welder. Now you might ask, well, Mike, you have a shop. How are you powering your welders? And I do have three small welders and I haven't run them off my 12,000 XP's. I'm actually doing a project right now and I'm going to show it to you real quick. It's not the reason for this video and it's going to be shown in a separate video. But I want to show you something that I'm working on. It's actually a low frequency inverter just for welding and a few other tasks. Let's look. You've probably seen a lot of different cart builds and this one is a little bit different. So I do have a split phase inverter and it has a very big transformer on the inside. There it is. What that's going to allow me to do is put out 6,000 watts continuous and 18,000 watts peak. It's going to be powered by a 48 volt greener power battery. It's a 100 amp hour with a 200 amp BMS. I have room in the cart to add another battery later on. I have a Victron Energy uh, charge controller, T-class fuse between the battery and the inverter, T-class fuse between the charge controller and the uh, battery. I also have a exhaust fan in the front in which that's going to draw air from both behind the charge controller, and then I have uh, vents in the back. This inverter is um, split phase, so it does put out both 240, and if you're only connecting to one leg, then obviously it does 120. In the back, I have uh, three uh, outlets. I have my 240 volt 50 amp, 30 amp 120, and then 20 amp 120. And then the charge controller is connected to this combiner box in which I'll be able to plug solar panels into this. On the top is going to be uh, a smaller solar panel, which is actually going to power this exhaust fan. So whenever that this cart is outside in which it's probably just going to stay outside. It's going to draw air through it to keep the setup cool whenever that the sun is shining. And if it is cloudy and rainy, it's going to be off and not pulling in the additional moisture. Now this inverter, you can see has fans on it. So this is not sealed, but with the top on this and restricting how air flows through it, it will keep any direct moisture uh, from the unit itself. But that's a really quick preview and I'm in the process of building this. So for my welder, once again, I'll be using this, my three little welders. I think 
Uh, one welder pulls 30 amps max and, and the other two are 20 amp, but, but yeah. So if you have a high frequency inverter, like, uh, the ones that I have once again, absolutely awesome. But if you are going to do welding, I would recommend either you flip to grid or, uh, have a low frequency inverter as well. For me, I can't flip the grid because, well, I'm off the grid for my shop. So because of that, I built this cart and now I'll be able to weld anywhere on the property. And if I'm trying to run a very large pump, I can simply plug it into the back and yeah, pretty much power just about anything. I'm sure that this could even start a central HVAC unit. Of course, not much battery capacity, but you could probably uh, kick it off at least. So that's it. Thanks again for watching Mike's Garage.